So when you sit down in Izakaya, Izakaya, a traditional Japanese pub, a lot of people go for casual dining, food's great, the drinks are great, it's just like a pub. One thing that's different than a pub is that the Izakaya, some plate comes out at the beginning. You haven't ordered it, they just put it down. And this is called the Otoshi. The Otoshi is a little snack to, just to get you eating, like they might put bread out at an Italian restaurant or French restaurant. The Otoshi could be anything that the restaurant wants to give you on that day. Today we have a very specific Otoshi and I really love this. These are da, 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 little eggs. Uh, they're sparrow eggs. I haven't really eaten anything but chicken eggs in my life until I came to Japan, but the sparrow eggs are really delicious. The, the, the whites are a little bit more, uh, what would I say, uh, rubbery in a good way. A little bit tougher. Uh, you have a little bit uh, uh, more of what you, so, what you call in Japanese hagotai, uh, fighting against the teeth when you chew them. Uh, but the, the taste is basically eggs. And these, I can see because they're brown, they must be pickled eggs. Very rare to see this given out as an otoshi, as a, as a snack right at the beginning, because I think these are pretty high class. I'd want to order them off the menu, but I'm going to have one right now. Pickled sparrow egg by Sunshine. Delicious. Perfect for beer. There are even little rules about how to say cheers in Japan. If the person you're saying cheers to is senior to you, if they're older, if they're your boss, if there's any way that you feel that in, in society they're your teacher, there's something above you, you want to make sure that the edge, the lip of your glass, when you say cheers, hits somewhere below the lip of their glass. That's a sign of respect, like this. Kanpai! Here's a little uh, example of Japanese attention to detail. We're gonna have a lot of these on my show. Here's the first one, toothpicks. You'll notice from the Japanese toothpick, it looks like a normal toothpick unless you look at this end. It's a little bit uh, serrated, it's a little bit graded, it has a little bit of a design. First of all, this makes the toothpick look beautiful, but this is not just uh, for decor. This is not just an artistic point. You actually break this off here at one of the grates and you put it down on the table and then you can lay your toothpick on it. No matter how many times you use it, the end of the toothpick is not going to hit the table so it will always be clean. 